So since I'm pretty much an expert on space travel now, as indicated by this amazing satellite, I managed to get to Duna, which is also just leaving its mark. Uh, what are you doing? Stop spinning. It, uh... <laughs> it doesn't want to point towards the planet much anymore. That's fine. We're done with it because we're going to start using this rocket to send other things throughout the system. This is a really successful design. I'm kind of surprised, but we're not going to be sending a satellite into orbit. We're going to try to retrofit this thing to carry a rover to somewhere so we can just boost around a planet all day. And I'm thinking sending this thing to Eve would be kind of cool. But now how do we get this thing onto here? Because using the engines as an attachment point kind of sets it off. So what if we reversed it? one of these engine mounts. Would it work if we just slapped it on kind of like that? At least it gets it in alignment so we can use that. First, we need to get some of these decouplers on here and then we can attach this like that and then we can just attach it like that. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of lopsided though so hopefully that's not a problem and also some of these pieces like to rotate on their own so that's cool. But at least it should work like that. But now we also need to get a fairing onto here. How big of one are we going to need? Something like that? That seems a bit excessive but that might be what we need. So we just have to make sure this nicely encapsulates the whole thing. It's a little weird because I have to navigate around these wheels for it. That seems to be working. And this goes up. <laughs> it looks so weird now. And we could probably start to close this off. Maybe not. There we go. Just to do something like that. That is so weird. It also didn't close off entirely. That's looking better. What is that? <laughs> is it looking better though? How much mass am I running on this thing? That's what I want to know. Oh, interesting. Even with the rover, it's still way down there. But I also have some major concerns about how well this thing is going to fly. Also, I need to get some things on here for the landing procedure, like some parachutes. And I can get a parachute onto there. That looks like it worked. And then also land kind of straight up. But also, where is the center of mass on this thing? Okay, it is kind of central. So we should be able to put one uh, parachute right there. And it could work. Might need another one up here. So we can get this one here. And we'll also need another one like there. That should work. I also don't know what what a lot of these uh, parts like to do. They just like to rotate weirdly, but it shouldn't matter too much. Hopefully it doesn't blow it up. And this is a lot of stages going on right here. Yeah, we've got nine stages to work with here. Hopefully it all works. Also, people are saying I needed to add a reaction wheel to make sure this thing worked properly, but the satellite had one built in. So just weird things is happening with the mass, I guess. Anyway, bigger wheels should mean bigger control and also a few things of solar panels. So this thing stays juiced up. Does the rover have any panels? Doesn't look like it, but doesn't need it. I I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Or is that what these are? Oh, that is what these are. These are solar panels. Cool. Okay, so that should be all the bases covered for us to actually use this thing properly once we get there. Quick run through the steps. Boost, detach, boost, detach, boost, unveil, detach, parachute, and boost. Cool. Um, something weird is going on. Blue sky is not there in the middle of the day and uh camera's doing weird things shouldn't matter too much right we're going and uh that one thruster is way out of alignment even though there's a strut on there it should be okay for us oh this is weird already it's not supposed to be doing this and the ocean is completely dried up too yeah there's still a few bugs in the game and except for that one booster being at the wrong angle this is flying pretty straight still it seems like it's way slower whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. time out no you're doing things ah okay this is gonna happen sooner or later at least i can keep up with the spinning Whee! So I thought this amount of struts would be good for it. I guess they are a little different than what I had before. In any case, I probably need two more boosters and then restrut all of them. Okay, so I need to secure down this rover better just so it doesn't wiggle around as much. I think should be fine once we detach this. That's looking pretty secure right there. Maybe if we actually had some struts going from the center rocket to the outside ones, that would work a lot better. Also, what in the world happened there? That's not supposed to do that. That should be a lot more secure. Here, right there. Definitely liking this a lot better right now. Everything is nice and stable. Also, Jebediah is just kind of hoping that things go good right now because you really can't see anything in there. And then once we get up to there, we start to tilt carefully, carefully, carefully. Nope, that's not careful at all. Ah, just keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. I don't care where you're going, just keep going up. I kind of do care where you're going because that's not the right way. This was such a good design and now we're back to square one. Oh, 
Okay, we're kind of leveling out here. Very good, very good. I have no idea where we're going now. We're definitely off the normal escape trajectory. Okay, so let's just separate. And oh dear, camera, why do you gotta do weird things? And now this is going weird. Is RCS on? Okay, now it is. So let's make sure this thing's pointing prograde. No, it just likes to keep spinning. Why do you gotta do this to me? Also, why is the camera doing weird things? So many questions. Oh, I tell you what, it's, it's centering the camera around the rover. It's not supposed to do that. So beneath the RCS, CS, let's get a drone module to try and control things better. Okay, so I was fixing some things on the rocket and looking at this, I don't have nearly enough to get there. So I'll need to fix a lot. Uh, these go away so I can add more. So we're gonna need some big fuel tanks on here as well. This is gonna be a problem because of all the mass that's about to be added. So if we get small boosters like that and after having like eight oh boosters on this goodness. thing on top of it all, we only got 2,000 more Delta V, which I mean, it'll get us too even we're not exactly planning on landing this thing except the rover so really i think that's all our problem solved so this should be better for us so this is looking pretty good i think so it should work this time that's a lot of boost coming out of there. Thankfully, we have plenty of thrust to really ramp up our speed because we're barely climbing right now. But we're still going up in velocity. Just a matter of orbiting this weird camera around. Okay, just nice and gentle. Don't get too crazy with it. Nope, nope, don't get too crazy. Don't get, don't get too crazy. I'm telling you not to get too crazy. There we go. This is manageable. I'll probably just keep it nice and delicate like this this until we get rid of the boosters okay we're in the we're almost to the upper layer of the atmosphere boosters are about to run out we can tilt a little bit more okay they're done now get rid of them all and get out of here okay it's looking pretty good but also where are we going we're going way up don't want that so let's turn our cs on maybe we can turn this thing anti-normal might be too much mass actually it is kind of moving not with the most speed though we also need to sort this out before getting to there so let's just do this now just so we can level ourselves out so we don't miss eve going down okay it's actually making it and then once we get there burn some more there we go gotta get this thing looped around the planet so we just keep pushing and pushing there's still a piece flying out there from the satellite we launched and whoa, rocket's doing weird things. Come on, fix it. You just gotta lock it here. Push out a bit more and more and more. And okay, we now have a very, very low orbit that's pretty much going right back to Kerbin. But now we need to start pushing this that way. So let's go back to this point here. Then hopefully this thing turns back prograde before we need to burn again and that's close enough burn some more we have a lot to push out here and we just ran out of fuel on these thrusters so we break them off and then boost again and this one has a lot of fuel so hopefully it's enough it's starting to grow faster so we should be exiting the sphere of influence pretty soon at oh oh that's uh uh that's taking us through the orbit of the moon very quickly that shouldn't be a worry though let's keep going there we go now we're not worried about the moon anymore and okay there we're out okay so while we get there let's figure out where we're gonna intercept eve i know there was a thing everybody was yelling about like a some sort of intercept point that you're supposed to go for but you know we're not gonna worry too much about that okay so we're gonna need to burn retro to slim out one side of this and this is looking like a problem because the time by the time we wrap around here Eve's gonna be over there. So what if we just moved this point around when we start to burn? Whoa, easy. Is that it? No, it's coming back to Kerbin. This is really weird having to fight a planet that's orbiting the sun faster than we are. But if we just keep burning like this, we have 1,400 in this tank. Oh, but we're getting close over there. Is that gonna work? It looks like it's gonna work. Oh, but it's a little bit up. That's okay. One thing at a time. And someone suggested spacing the burnout so it's a little bit before the point so it can be more accurate. So we can just do that really quick. I have no idea how much we're gonna need a burn here but we're going right now and that was that's me intercepting Kerbin again and this is a long burn and we're going to be using most of the fuel but it should get us most of the way there just watching this line making sure it's getting close to that line as close as it will and we're almost out of delta v here 10 seconds left on the burn whoop but we're overlapping there okay but we still need just a bit more so if we burn just a little bit pro here mm, nope it's outpacing us huh but if we burn later that's getting closer and now what's keeping this from lining up properly we might also need more speed to catch up to it okay at that point i'll be right over and then if we just bring this 
down. This is getting very touchy. Ooh. Oh, that's so close. Please tell me that's a... Ah, uh, it's not quite. And a little bit more. Oh. Oh, okay. Got lined up. Now we'll be entering the uh thingy. And I... Did I just pass the point? I totally did, didn't I? Well, that was... Wait. No, I didn't. Where am I? Oh, there I am. I totally read this wrong because that's saying, hey, I should have burned already. The lights are. I'm just being confused as usual. Anyway, let's just fast forward to the burn. Can I see it right now? Or I just can't see anything because of the sun. I wonder if I can see where Urban is from here. I honestly have no idea. I can't even tell which way I'm looking. All right, 30 seconds to the burn. Five, four, three, two, one burn this is a 20 second burn i don't have enough fuel for that not at the rate i'm burning this it's fine though we'll use the rest of this and then separate dial this back and then burn a little bit more watching this orbit as we do okay yep we're pushing this out we're trying to get that to here and this is working pretty good and stop let's also maximize our time in eve's orbit i think would be a good idea yeah it looks like it should be enough time and this is a very short burn too and i don't even need to watch uh the vessel anymore just gotta watch these points here start to burn okay we're navigating it we're navigating it and stop Okay, did we do it? Yes, yes, we're about to enter. Awesome, excellent, wonderful. It stopped telling us how much Delta V we have in this stage, but we have a lot. So hopefully we'll be able to slow down enough that this rocket will be on a trajectory for the surface and also make it to the surface and not break up. Because I did look at Eve in the tracking center and it has like four times the atmosphere of Kerbin. I think. And also, what's our entry point for this looking like? Uh, which way are we going in? I'm guessing that's the in point because it's like, you know, sucking into the middle. So yeah, we'll be going pretty close to it and just straight to the surface pretty much. Bunch of weird purple going on there. But let's just warp right to that point. How's it even look from here? Oh, let's point mission or let's point maneuver grade. Oh yeah, there it is. But then where's its moon? Where's little Gilly? Or even would Gilly be at this point? We're going up. Um, I have no idea where Gilly is. So if Eve is there, then Gilly would be somewhere over there. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw the bottom rim of it. No, it was just a hair on my screen. And then once we execute this maneuver, I need, I just need to watch this line go into the surface of the planet. And we still have a lot of fuel left over. Not that the game's going to tell me. And I'm also going to be slowly monitoring this burn. Not going full force right away. I've made that mistake before. Three, two, one. Start the burn. Okay, I guess we do go full force on this one. And carefully watching this. And the burn is supposed to be done, but that's entirely wrong. So now we... Ooh, okay. We can just start to carefully dial it in. And wait for it. And stop. Yes! Okay, we're going to the surface of Eve. This is excellent. And that big purple ball is carefully getting closer. I want to see it get closer from this view. And whoa, oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Eee, just flying in. Okay, now let's get this thing pointed retrograde in case we need to slow down even more. No longer need to worry about maneuver points. And can I see the moon from here now? It says it's supposed to be past Eve. Uh, maybe Eve is blocking it. So let's get a little closer. <laughs> I'm really liking this approach right here. We're gonna wrap around the dark side of the planet and then come up on sunny side. That is if our trajectory is still good, which it is. And what's even around that landing spot? It looks like a flat area so that should be good i just won't be able to see it for a while because of where we're looking so let's just fast forward some more this is getting very sketchy whoa okay hold on okay so we're kind of above 200 kilometers to the planet's surface this is some exciting stuff right here okay we're 120 kilometers above the surface right now and uh we gotta point this thing somewhere for the shoots to deploy so why don't we just point to the front and at this point we don't really need the fairings anymore so why don't we just let's see payload quad jettison it boosh there we go so now our thing is whoa and that falls straight to the ground as the last time it did uh whoa Okay, that, that is doing weird tricks. RCS, turn off. Oh, man, it's right there. So then we should just be able to decouple this, right? Mm, I don't know. I might need the thruster to land this. Or at least slow down even more. And now that we're slowly crashing towards the planet, we need to find a spot for our chutes to open up. Because the first time I tried this, it wasn't exactly safe. Uh, whoa. Oh, no. 
Okay, and now it is safe for the parachute, so we can deploy those. Very good, and then they'll start to slow us down. We're also going very, very fast still. The speed's over here. This Look at just how fast we're falling. So it's a good thing I kept this thruster then. Bring this down to the point where those chutes open up fully, hopefully. And that just took the rest of our fuel out of that thing. Okay, well, I guess at that point we can just decouple this and separate. Whoa, okay, uh-huh. And then we're still in control, right? I think so. Um, Which way are we looking right now? Can we point this thing up? Okay, that's ideal. We're still going very fast. So the chutes are kind of slowing us down. Oh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Okay. Okay, it's landing. This is also very wobbly. He's got a crew light in there, right? Yeah, look at that. But there's also no other lights on here, so that's cool. But we're gonna touch down gently in the dead of night. And it's showing us sea level, not the current uh, distance to the ground. So wherever that is, I guess. Whoa. Okay, we touched down. And now we can uh, close up these chutes, right? Just uh, cut it. Look at this. We're on the surface of Eve and we can't even tell. Let's fast forward to daytime. And uh, the roller... What the... Okay, it was rolling. What did I just fall off of? Well, here we are. This is so cool. We have a rover on another planet. And we're also just gonna repack these so it looks nice and neat. And we keep going. And yes... Yes, we're driving a rover on Eve. And he, Jebediah is just coasting, not even caring about anything. And he's about to go very downhill, very fast. Especially if we boost all the way up and turn on these. Uh, oh, I guess uh, Eve doesn't have oxygen for the thrusters. Well, that's a bit of a hiccup. Didn't realize these weren't rated for Eve atmosphere. That's fine, we don't need him. He's getting a ton of speed already. And oh, there's a lot of downhill ahead of him. Whee! <laughs> Nothing like a morning stroll on a distant planet. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this little adventure of getting a rover successfully to Eve. I'm sure a ton of you have a lot to say about the steps it took to get here. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And whoa, whoa, uh, let me know what you want to see in the next one. Sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.